ancient Romans created glass goblets that were used only for special occasions. Because they were glass, only a few have survived till today. These special goblets were made with a glass that changes color in different lighting. The green and the red goblets are actually the same, just with different lighting. Let's get started on making our own Roman goblet today. Take a black piece of paper, fold it in half, and trace the overall goblet shape. Once you've traced it in pencil, show it to Mrs. Fox in and cut on your pencil line. After you've cut out that flat piece of paper, open it up so you have a symmetrical goblet. Now let's go on to gluing the tissue paper down. When you start taking your watered down glue, begin with a painting mat underneath and add some watered glue to your paper. As you've glued that down, you'll also notice not only am I sticking the tissue paper into the, onto the paper, but I'm taking the watered glue and painting on top of the tissue paper as well. It's almost like a sandwich. It's got your watered down glue on the black paper, then the tissue paper, and the watered down glue on top of the tissue paper. So watch for that here. Once I place it down, also put watered down glue on top of the tissue paper. Continue to add your tissue paper throughout this whole project, completely filling up the goblet as you've seen in this video right now. Placing it down and putting watered down glue on top. As you've completed your work, go ahead and take it off so it doesn't get stuck to your painting mat and take it to the drying rack. Once your project is dry, we'll be taking some of this metallic or colored pieces of paint and adding on my patterns into my project. As this paint dries, it gets lighter and brighter. So be patient with yourself, take that paintbrush and start painting on some different patterns onto your goblet. You'll go ahead and paint on some interesting designs on the top, any kind of pattern that you would like. Go back to the paint often to reload your brush so it doesn't dry out or run out. It might be kind of interesting to paint some patterns on the bottom of your goblet as well. Maybe some scalloped or bumpy lines, straight lines, diagonal lines, any kind of line that you would like to create into your project. Just paint those on to your goblet now. Once you've painted the base, go ahead and continue placing some of that paint on top of your dried tissue paper for a little more interest and variety in patterns. I hope you have fun making your own Roman goblet in today's assignment. Thanks for watching and happy art making!